And in this movie, we'll go a little deeper into the manipulation of images. I've created a new image and have loaded it into the variable foo. Let's change the alpha of foo, or the opacity. We'll do this by typing foo.alpha. And we'll set it equal to a number between 0 and 1, where 1 is fully opaque and 0 is transparent. We'll save it and take a look. Here, the image is half transparent, half opaque. Note that if we wanted to get the alpha of foo, we would simply type foo.alpha, and that would return the current alpha of the image. We can scale the image by using the X scale and Y scale properties of the image object. Foo.X scale, notice the capital S, equals 2. And Foo.Y scale equals 2.5. So this means that we'll scale on the horizontal two times and scale on the vertical two and a half times. We can also rotate the image. Here we're passing in degrees. As we saw in the previous movie, we can set the reference point by using set reference point of the image object. We'll position the image at the bottom left of the screen. We'll make sure we reset the rotation. This will ensure that the bottom left of the image is actually at the bottom left. Finally, we can change the height and width of the image by changing the width and height properties of the image object. Since we have scaling in place, this will change the image size to 50 by 300, but then still scale it to 2 by 2 and a half. Let's take the scaling off. We'll change it back to 1. That's the original scale, and there you have it. Though I used images to demonstrate, display objects in general can all be affected in this way.